Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is my pleasure and honor to meet you all today. Um, let me start by introducing myself. My name is Pakawanin Oshanon. Um, I'm an officer at the Office of International Affairs and Global Network, Zhuangguan University. Um, I'm in charge of the university level MOU facilitation. Okay, um, today I'm going to share with you um, the administrative structure of the OIA or International uh, Office of International Affairs and Global Network at Zhuangguan University and as well as the problems we face and solutions that we use to cope with them. Okay, um, let me begin by saying what you might all know already, that the structure of OIA in university can be roughly divided into two models. And the first model, we have um, the international campus or, um, sorry, the international college or center that does the work of both university level and faculty level. And for the second models, it uh, refers to a central and a departmental or faculty office that does the work separately. Okay, um, let me introduce you the structure of the OA at Jula. Um, this is um, the picture of our campus, and on the bottom right is uh, our uh, the building that our office is. Okay, um, we are actually celebrating the 100th year anniversary of our university in 2017. Okay, uh, the structure of the OIA at Jula, we have, do we use the second model? Um, we, uh, we have two levels of administration, which is the central, university central office and the office at each faculty. Uh, the central office is divided into three main divisions and the international affairs, the Stula Global Network and the international staff and student services and we work closely with the office at each faculty. Uh, I will briefly go through um, each division's work here to give you the overall picture. Okay, um, the first one is uh, the international affairs division and as you can see we does uh, uh, we do the work, uh, the international relation work. We are serving as liaison, we are managing the database and rankings. We are cooperating with the uh, university network like AUN, APRU, and etc. We are also um, facilitating the university level MOUs, which I'm in charge here. Uh, we have we, um, we require two or more faculties to be involved um, initially. And of course, we are assisting the uh, student exchange through university level MOUs. And finally, we uh, help facilitating when a member of administrative boards or university representatives travel abroad. Uh, the second division is the Jula Global Network. Uh, originally, there were an independent office, but due to the university reorganization, they were merged with the Office of International Affairs um, a few years ago, um, hence the name, the Office of International Affairs and Global Network. Um, we call them by the abbreviation CGN. Their work is focuses um, mainly on the academic aspect of international activities, um, such as um, organizing international uh, conference or seminars, as well as uh, supporting and funding research and publications in certain specified area, as you can see. Um, and the third division is the international staff and student services. And this is also the newest addition to the uh, central office. Uh, uh, true to the name, uh, they provide support to international staff and students, such as uh, Central, uh, such as admission, orientation, the ID card, the visa documents, and they also do the public relations work. Uh, I will come back to this division later in my presentation as they were a part of uh, the improvement plan of our office. And lastly, uh, also another significant part in our OAA system 
is the office at each faculty. Uh, you can see that the, the work is pretty much the same as those the central office does, but all in the faculty level scale. And most of the officers taking their order directly from the dean or deputy dean in charge of international affairs. Um, that is the general overview on uh, how we divide the work at Zula. The structure presents both advantages and um, challenges for us. So ha let's have a look at the advantages first. Um, it allows us to work more closely with staff and students, as of course we have an officer station at each faculty. And uh, the decision making at the faculty level is also quicker. Uh, as I have mentioned that uh, they are taking their orders directly from the dean or the deputy dean. And also, uh, the officer at the faculty also has like, good insight into academic connection or collaboration in specific fields, uh, like who is uh, collaborating with who from which institution in what field. So I think, they, I can say, they, uh, I think we can say that they know better than the central office when it comes to uh, collaboration in specific areas of studies. So, and of course, everything is not all roses. So here come the challenges we have to face. Um, firstly, uh, the separate work might lead to uh, misunderstandings between officers at both levels, um, and sometimes the duplication of work. For example, the document for extending visa can be issued at both university and faculty level. And also the data that we kept at the central office is sometimes outdated as we cannot always keep track of what the faculty has been doing in terms of collaboration. And finally, some partner university and exchange students, uh, they are confused about the MOU, different MOU levels and exchange channels as the uh, student who comes through the university level MOUs has to contact the central office, but the student who comes through the uh, faculty level MOU has to con contact the faculty directly. And so, um, what did we do to solve these problems? Uh, let's have a look at the first one, the CUOIA network. Um, it consists of the officer from both the central office and the office at each faculty. And what we do is we meet monthly to uh, discuss our work and problems and get to know each other. And also we organize the activities in, uh, of international topics. Like, uh, this is from last year when we invited the former director of Fulbright Thailand to give us a talk about uh, Fulbright scholarship and how they work and the attitude to work and uh, other activities include a lecture on visa regulations from the officer from the immigration bureau and also the lecture on cultural differences. And we plan to create a knowledge management sharing website and organize a short English courses for OA officers. Uh, from my personal experience, the network really helps when, it, uh, when you need to contact the faculty asking for their help or anything. Uh, you know, in Thai, we have the uh, familiar form of pronouns, like P, which means um, the older sister or brother, or no, which means the younger ones. So um, instead of calling them and said, oh, Mr. A or Miss B in a formal way, you, if you know them well, you can just say, um, can you help me please, P, A or non B, and everything just go um, more smoothly. And uh, come back to the second solution, which is a data collecting and sharing. Um, we ask the faculty to submit their collaboration data to us every quarter. And including the exchange and visiting staff and student international conferences and seminars, and delegation visits, faculty level MOUs, and other international activity data. 
So now we at the central office uh, get to know about what the faculty has been doing. So how can get to, they get to know us in uh, so in the 2009, we create an intranet website to share information on international affairs. And we issue a username and password to, for the officer at each faculty to access. And most of the data is shared here, so we can be updated at both ends. And the most recent effort is the new division that I have introduced earlier. Um, the Division of International Staff and Student Services. Uh, it was just created in late 2014, which is last year, uh, to centralize the staff and student services and reduce duplications of work, um, both at the university level and faculty level. Uh, some of the existing services has been reorganized and reshuffled into this division. Uh, such as producing documents for applying for an extending visa and the student and staff ID card name, organizing university-wide activities and gatherings for staff and students across campus. Um, we created the, this division with the hope that it will act as a one-stop service for, for international staff and students in the university. And we are also exploring new areas of work, like um, the central admission system for international students and the public relations work. And we just started a survival type course for international students um, this month. Uh, to conclude, I would like to go over to the main point again very quickly. Um, CUAA network and the new division work to reduce the misunderstanding and uh, duplications of work and collaboration data is updated and shared by all via the data collecting and sharing system. And finally, the confusing MOU level and exchange channels um, might not be easy to solve, but if we are well informed, at least we can direct them to the appropriate contact person. And before I end my presentation, I would like to take this opportunity to announce that our office is moving to the new location, uh, which is um, Jamtori 10 building on the 18th floor. And we have Jamtori 1 to Jamtori 10, and Jamtori 10 is the newest building in the university, uh, intended to be an uh, international building. Uh, it housed uh, all international affairs related uh, services and offices in there. So the moving date is um, during the upcoming week of February 23rd to 27th. And the uh, phone number, fax numbers, and email addresses are still the same, but the service will be interrupted during the week. So if you are contacting us during the moving week, please be patient. <laughs> okay. Um, this brings me to the end of my presentation. Um, what I've talked about are only some of the solutions that we use to cope with the challenge system from administrative structure. And it's only um, my own observation. Uh, so in, uh, this is the photo of the jump to return building. Okay. Uh, in the discussion section after, I will be happy to answer the question you may have. And if you have something to share, I will be uh, happy to answer uh, to discuss and listen to your suggestion. Okay, um, thank you Kyoto University for the warm welcome and the hospitality and thank you all for your attention.